in order to make you understand the whole feature more precisely i will try to change the kind of view what we are seeing on the screen so i'll just go to views option and under views i'll go to section i'll click on the section command i will select this face or the surface i will be getting a dragger over here represented with an arrow i'll just drag it inside so i can see the cross section of the hole right now so i'll try to keep it exactly at the half and i'll just press okay so presently we are seeing the sectional view in order to understand more precisely the features of the hole now let me just edit the hole what i've created by clicking on the edit definition so mind you do not think that i have deleted the geometry i we have i've just adjusted the sectional view so that we can just understand the way the hall is being created okay so let us see the different options over here i'll just align the view again so you can see this is a rectangular hall if we want we can in the depth right now and we can change the profile of the hall from predefined to standard so after clicking on standard you can see that the profile of the hole has been changed earlier it was a rectangular profile now you can see a pointed tip over here we can vary the dimensions of this particular region also in order to do that we can simply go to the shape command and here we have certain diamond certain options present on the screen which can help us to alter the dimensions so this is the diameter of the hole so presently it is around 80 units i can change it to 40 units and you can see the dynamic view over here which is also changed also i have the depth which is presently set to blind and the distance from the top surface till this particular point is named as shoulder and the distance is almost 52 i'll change it to 55 if we want the distance from the top till the tip we can change the option to tip by selecting on it and you can see that the distance is from the surface till the pointed point or the tip and it is presently 67 i can change it to 80 or whatever i require apart from that i can also change the angle which is presently 118 which is the default i can change it to say 120 or 90 140 anything so it totally depends on the kind of hole what we want to create so let me just set it to default which was 118 apart from this we can also have some variations in the hole i'm sorry if you are moving on the right hand side you can see an option called counter sink over here so let me just turn on the counter sink it adds a counter sink over here you can see on the screen let me turn off it is a flat rectangular i mean it is a flat circular hole extended till the surface now i am having a sink over here so this kind of features are generally required when we have screws to be installed in this particular hole for some purpose right so generally the head of the screw is a kind of sink shape tapered shape so it gets inside this and fits properly so that is the purpose we have this option present and uh, this is one of the option for creating a hole we can alter the distances over here as well it can be 690 or it can be say 100 you can see the variation in sink we can change it to say 150 also it is just and i believe 180 or 179 is the highest yeah you can see the range over here you have entered a value 180 i was entering the value 180 in the text field and this is out of range it has to be something greater than 60 and lesser than 180 so i'll just go to 179 this is almost flatter this is almost flat i'll just go back to 60 so you can see this is quite clear right now i can also change this particular dimension say for example i want it to be 60 and you can see the sink variation in the sink 
clear so this is something about countersink and we also have another feature let me turn off the countersink i'll turn on the counter bore right now so you can see a extra i mean a larger diameter on the top side so this is a counter bore feature again we can go to the shape option and we can vary the dimensions of the bore so presently it is set at 44 units i want it to be a little lesser say 20 units and i can also vary the diameter of the bore and this is something different i mean the diameter of the hole on the lower side is 40 units and 72 represents the diameter of the bore presently it is 72 units let me change it to 80 so presently it is a double of the basic hole what is present in the bottom region when we are confirmed with this particular shape we can also add a countersink for this you can see when i'm turning on you will be having a countersink over here yes and you can also vary the dimensions for countersink and when you're totally satisfied with this you can simply press ok you will be having the hole ready with you i'll go back to the normal i'll just delete this sectional view so that you can understand more clearly so we have the whole feature with a counter bore and a counter sink. Let us look at some other features in the next video.